If you're looking for the review of the Go Lamp, you're in the right place. This lamp says that it's ultra bright, ultra light, and can go anywhere. But first, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And if you're new here, my channel is dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, consumer gadgets, and other household goods. If you like that idea, please consider subscribing to my channel down below and click that bell so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's get to an unboxing of the Go Lamp. All right, so I purchased this Go Lamp at Walmart for about $14.88, so, so just a little over $15 with taxes. Um, so when I open this up, this is a really light box. I mean, I almost thought there wasn't anything in here. Um, what I have in here, a lot of, a lot of cardboard. All right, so I have a very nicely wrapped lamp. Let me just get this out, okay? Ooh, and it's a nice color. I like the slate gray color, if you can see that. It's really nice looking. Um, it's got this long handle here where you can bend and twist, and then it has the light fixture itself. Also, when I opened the box, I came out with directions, which I'll check out later. And what looks like a USB cord... Um, Yep, and on the back here I have a plug where I can actually plug this in and power this from my laptop or other um, USB. But that's not the benefit of this. The benefit of this is on the bottom it has a compartment where you can put three AA batteries. So I'm going to get some batteries and put it in and then we're going to test this out. Um, I'm really excited about this Go Lamp and the function of it, um, maneuverability, and maybe go anywhere type of thing. So let's put some batteries and test it. So I've just added three brand new batteries to my Go Lamp, and I wanted to show you firsthand what it looks like. I haven't even seen it turned on yet. All right, so there's an on-off button here. So when I read through the directions, you hit on, it's low, and then you hit it again, and it's medium, and then the third time it goes to high, and of course the fourth of them again go to off. So I'm gonna shine this at the camera, and we'll see. Let's try low, medium, and then high. It's a pretty bright light. All right, so. I've got this light, and I, I did this one not too long ago by Bell & Howell. If you remember the Bionic light, let's see the difference. Now this one I've been using for a while, so the batteries are a little older, um, but I still think it competes pretty well. They're both pretty bright lights. Right now the Go Lamp has it, just because I believe it has the newest batteries. And I also did the Bell & Howell Tac Lamp, and there that is. I think it's a similar design here. What I liked about the Go Lamp is that these LED batteries, or I'm sorry, these LED lights are going to be cool to the touch. Have you ever used LED um, lights and they are really, really hot? This one says you can touch it all day long and you'll be fine. Um, so I really like this so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check it out in the USB to see if I get the same type of thing. And then maybe we'll try it into a dark room just to see how it works. And then I'll give you my final review. So far, I like the Go Lamp. Let's continue on. So I have plugged in the Go Lamp to my laptop, and this cord is only about three foot long, so if you're going to use it plugged in, you have to be really, really close to the power source. And just so you know that I'm not cheating, I've left the bottom off, okay? So my laptop is on, plugged in. Let's check to see how this works. Oh, there we go. I like the feature. The only disadvantage is you have to be really, really close to the power source. Um, now let's check this out in a dark environment to see if it really lightens it up and then we'll go to my final review. I know what you're thinking. Did he forget to turn the lights on? Well, no. I'm doing this for a point. It's after night at night. It's dark out. I'm going to turn on this light and just see how it can illuminate the room on video. All right. First level. Second level. Third level. Now, it's not like it's daytime, but you know what? I can see everything in this room. Um, it's probably hard to see on video, but things lit up pretty well. And if I were to look around the room, I would be able to see things. So you know what? If it was like a power outage, I thought that maybe could be another use for this um, item too. But I wanted to show you what it looked like lighting up a darkened room. It did a pretty good job. All right, so the Go Lamp is ultra bright, it's ultra light, and it's ultra cool to the touch. Now, in order to get that ultra light feeling, this plastic 
isn't very thick. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not that cheap, cheap plastic, but it's not also not thick and durable. This arm right here is made of a rubber feel, or at least rubber coated, and then the, the light itself here is also made out of plastic. The Ultra Bright comes from this really, really bright LED, um, and the Ultra Cool is this LED does not get hot, and I really like that feature. Now, I can see lots of functions or uses for this. I can see you going on a road trip and reading in the back of the car, or people reading in the back of the car. Going camping, I can see sitting outside in the dark. I can see looking for that lost pot or pan underneath your cabinet. You just can't find it because there's no light. Well, take the Go Lamp with you. That's how versatile this thing is. I really like it. You know one thing that really worried me, though? Um, I like to read at night, and so I've always been looking for either a book lamp or something that I can light up my space but not bother other people. So if you're worried about bothering your spouse or other people that might be in the room or if you're in the living room or whatnot, check this out. I have this on high, and yeah, sure, you can see that the light is on, but notice how it's not blinding you. Look, it's bright. It's on. I like how they design this with this curved top or a beveled top like this, so it sort of gives me the light, but doesn't shine it on you. I really, really like that. Anyway, that was my review of the Go Lamp. Um, this was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you have a great day. Now, um, earlier I, I brought up this little little doozy here it's the bell and howl bionic light if you haven't seen that video i'm going to link it right here and you know what i'll meet you over there just to check it out with you um so if you have a chance click the link bell and howl bionic light